Hello and welcome, my name is Bobby and you're watching Mind Island Design. In this video I will show you three different ways you can easily create your own sunray or sunburst effect in Illustrator, and near the end I will show you two bonus ways you can easily stylize your sunray effect. So let's just jump right in and go to our line tool, click and hold and select our polar grid tool. And now I will just drag from the top left of my artboard to the bottom right. And your polar grid will probably look something more like this with the center lines. So what you want to do is use your up and down and left and right arrow keys to remove the center rings. And then you can increase or decrease the amount of vertical lines in the center. So once you're happy with the amount of lines you want, let's just undo that, go to our center and click and hold with Alt and Shift on our keyboard to drag out this circle from the center. And you wanna make sure that you go beyond your artboard. And then you also want to go to View and make sure that Trim View is selected. That just removes everything from the outside of your artboard. And then next we can go to our Rectangle tool, select the top left of our artboard and drag down to the bottom right. And now let's grab our Selection tool, select everything and then select our Shape Builder tool. And now let's just reverse our colors and I will just choose like an orange color for my sunray. Click OK and then you'll see like a dotted grid. Just click and create your shapes for your sunrays and then just go all around your sunray. Perfect, and then let's just choose a different color. I'll just choose a yellow color and then just repeat this process. And then I will select everything and then just remove the black stroke. And there is our first method on how to create a sunray effect. Let's delete everything. And now this time, let's go back to our polar grid tool and choose our line segment tool. And I will increase my stroke width. Let's do something like 20 for now. And now let's select the top center of our artboard or we can just start at the center and just make our way up. Perfect. And go to our stroke settings here where it says uniform and select our width profile four. And then we can just uh, rotate this around so the point starts at the center. And now what we want to do is to go up to our effect, distort and transform and select transform. And make sure preview is checked Let's just increase the angle, something like that. And then we can choose the amount of copies. And as you see, the points are not going to the center. So just make sure right here, we choose the bottom center. And then for the number of copies, we can increase the amount until we make a full circle. And then you may need to adjust your angle because the spacing might be a little weird like this. So this looks good for me right now. I'll hit OK. And then I will also increase my stroke size just to make it a bit wider. So something like 40 looks good. And if we want the sun rays to go past our corners, we can still modify this by selecting our path, anchor point with the direct selection tool, and just drag our sun ray beyond the artboard. And then you may want to, again, just increase your stroke size to something like 75 for me looks good. And now we can choose our rectangle tool again. I'll just make a square around my artboard, right click, arrange, send to back, and then we can change the color of this background. I'll do orange again, so something like that looks good. And now we can select our path, go to our opacity, blending mode, and then just change this to something like soft light. And there we go. There is our second method on creating a sunray. Now for our last method, let's once again choose our line segment tool. And this time I will select the top right and just drag a line out to the bottom left of my artboard. And let's decrease the stroke width. Your width size doesn't actually matter here. So let's just do something like two points for now. I'll hit enter. And now you want to hit R on your keyboard to select your rotate tool. And you can also find that here on your toolbar, just hit enter. And uh, you wanna make sure that preview is selected. And here, uh, let's just do 360, which is our circle. And then 
Let's just divide this by something like 30, and 30 would be the amount of lines you would have in a circle. This may or may not look good, but you know, I'll just go with it. Hit tab, and that leaves me with 12 degrees. So the spacing should be equal all around for my sunray. So I will hit copy, and then hit command or control plus D to duplicate my last effect. And just like that, let's again grab our rectangle tool and just draw a rectangle around our artboard. And then select everything with our selection tool. And let's select our shape builder tool, invert that color, and then I will just choose an orange color again for my sunray. And now we can just create some sunray shapes. And again, I will do like a yellow color for my other sunray. Okay, perfect. And again, I will just uh, select everything and then just remove the stroke color. Awesome. And now some bonus tips on how you can stylize your sunray. Uh, let's select everything and go to our effect, distort and transform and select twist. And then we can add a twisty effect here. Um, let's just do something like 10, hit tab to preview the effect. I'll go back up to 15 degrees and hit OK. And as you see, we can see some white, so easy fix for that. Um, around the edges, let's just select everything and holding Alt and Shift on your keyboard to just drag out the shape a bit so it's past our artboard. And now we can make another shape. Right click Arrange, Send to Back, and then I will just use my eyedropper tool to select either the yellow or orange color. Awesome. And now, Another tip on how you can easily change the color of your artboard. Let's select everything and then select our recolor artwork button here at the top. And as you see, we can drag out these colors around this circle to change our sunray colors very easily. Right now, the uh, sliders are linked. If you want, you can unlink those and just choose these colors manually. Or you can also go to your color library and choose a library. Um, let's go to our color properties, choose something that is light. Actually, let's do something that's more saturated. So color properties, saturated, and then we can choose any of these colors within this color property or color library. And those are three different ways you can easily create a sunray or sunburst effect in Illustrator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.